Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Atomic Heart. So we are right here um, after we defeated the ball monster. What was it called? Hawk, Hawk 3? Something like that? Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, we just killed this boss. And um, you gotta find out what happens next. Because we're curious. So yeah. Uh, after this, we just have to progress further into the story. Now that we are here, I guess Pretty we'll go to. Impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just mm. wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Why am I carrying that? It has no bullets. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is, I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be open via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. What happened? What changed? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Are you supposed to make both of these repeat? I have no clue what I'm doing. Wait. Plutonium. What is going to change? I'm kind of confused. Nothing that's changing, or at least I failed to notice it. Are we supposed to get an assumption? No. Mm. Wait. This is not changing as well. Thank you. 
Well. Does this number mean anything? I just have to pull it backward. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Uh, I, I think I just have to pull it back. What's jamming this? No entry and a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, comrade major. What? So I can get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen. But this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Hmm. Wait, do I have to change the other ones as well? Okay, let's see. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, I haven't... I didn't need even check what's here we can't avoid stuff we need loot okay might i remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge oh my god why can't i jump freaking jump okay so now that we are here um Oh Major, my god. Have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Um... Okay. So we need to make our way. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, this is a stationary. Ok, 
Okay, now that I'm here. We could jump here. Oh well. Yep, we are here. Hey, I, I'm just kind of confused about all the stuff I'm dealing with. In their goddamn mustaches. Give me all the shit. Okay, another puzzle. Oh, got it. Let's try. Um, like all this stuff. Hey, I think I got ammo for. Getting one pistol round. Another door without a lock. Uh, where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Okay. I don't know what the hell is happening. Um, so we need some kind of stuff. No, that doesn't help. What does that sound? Should we go back? Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot that I can scan. The point of this fucking maze anyway the magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from kiev polytechnic university it's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation so it's plan b in case of a natural disaster among other things but it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system here under earth conditions the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space cool Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. I can find this. I mean, I didn't have to. Let's go back. Wait for this to come. Oh, loot. Pick me up. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> what else changes? What's the purpose of this?
Is that going to be a, some kind of... There should be a purpose of this, right? I don't see any. What? My bad. Okay. I'm a little bit confused about what's happening. Should I should I be searching for stuff now? Um Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? Oh, I saw some text. Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov. Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826. And by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We are seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others.
Okay. So. Yep, that worked. No, I know that high ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. <laughs> The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens, but individuals in privileged leadership. A cartridge slot gives the weapon. It is installed on elemental damage depending on the cartridge type. Fire, frost, or electricity. To install a cartridge, you need to get the appropriate upgrade for the selected weapon. Use the radial menu to select and install the cartridge. Positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for oh himself. Oh my... Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Fading data. Okay. So... What are you two doing? Oh, got a bunch of stuff. Hey, guess we are good? No, we ain't good. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Hey, what do we have here now? Oh, that's it? I just had to jump. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, comrade major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission okay so what nothing ah uh, that's what i thought proceed to the information room system integration aborted huh hello how can can i how can i help you do you need I me need to help to you the exhibit how do i open the door the time can be, be uh, 
Open with by multi key error. Multi key not found. All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. Well, my forearms have been torn off by a miscreant. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Is that sad? Could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Please. Please. Charles, what do the Proceed special neural connectors for collecting look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different. Electrocapsule, you can use electrocapsule to restore energy. Access them via the radio menu or your inventory. According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade Major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. Hey. Error 680. Playback failed. Ah, finally we get a ton of stuff. Significantly reduces incoming damage. Well, I'm. What? Oh. Shut up! You, sc you scared me. Okay, so we could look here. But before that, we need to find the schematics for that thing. Maybe. Okay, it's, seems like there's nothing here. I don't know where I could find that. We just have to find it. Well, let's see. Hello? Hi? You don't want to attack me, do you? Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. I'll staff them. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh, well. <sighs> Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Well, I doze off by looking at this guy. Well, everybody has their own interests, I guess. Don't mind me loading all of the shit. Holy. It's a bunch of stuff. Okay, let me see. So we cleared this room. Uh, yeah, I saw the schematics. It goes from... It has one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, seven buttons. So, yeah. Um... May 28, 1955. Urgent correction. Please delete this text from the brochures of... Q3, 1956. The VDNH was originally planned to be a flying complex located on an... Icarus platform. Excuse me. Like Chalamet. Uh, this floating museum would travel the Soviet Union inviting visitors from, from the cities and the towns along its path to come up and enjoy its exhibit. However, new machines destined to be a part of the exhibit were being developed so quickly its exhibit would inevitably have become out of date. While the platform was flying in uh, Vladivostok, blah blah blah, 
uh, it was therefore decided decided to leave the VDNH at facility 3826. So well, Cameron has wrote, I'm simply thrilled with your posters. Excellent work. However, I would like you to make a batch of new ones for my subordinates. They should be violent, terrifying, and bloody. Remember, watch out for the other side of the net. Like that, but more violent. The magnets here are very, very dangerous, and the poster should let people know how that if you make one mistake, that's it. Make a, cu a couple of mock ups, and uh, I'll take a look at them. Tell you what to fix. I want them to make people's blood run cold. Why? Analysis of biometrics indicates shows that 96.4% of the visitors during the 1955 reporting period expressed the following level of reaction to, uh, to the appearance of the following robots. Blah 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 blah. Tereshkova. Oh, yeah, these are the robots. Okay, cool. Ugh. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, we've got it. Huh? Oh, okay. But what do we have here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a blueprint. Snowball. Okay. What is this place? I gotta look for arms. Mm. I'm just checking out the settings. Okay. Um. Hey. Dead bodies all over the place. Let me grab all of this. What's that sound? I do not like it. I'm not going in that way. You thought I'm going to? You're wrong. Oh. Got it. Oh, okay. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Don't mind me just looting this. Well, good luck watching your cartoon. Collect everything. Hey, that. there's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. What? What? I accidentally clicked, clicked the button. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh. 
It's just there. We good? Yep, seems like we are. Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can come across this. Okay, That's let's see what she got. Mm. I still don't have enough for this. Dominator. Got it. This is the one we found out, right? Well, I kind of want to. Oh, wait. I could so, check my skill tree out. What? Check my skill tree out. Um, I got 89. Okay. What do we have? Should we get this? I think I'll get that. Yep, seems cool. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Okay. Well, that's stuck. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Uh, Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you, and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Hey. What am I supposed to find out? 
find the voice of the motherland. He's supposed to go to here. Got a hammer. Just two things, right? Wait, there was a statue right there. Nah. It wasn't. Looking for pedals, uh, these symbols, okay. Can't go through this door. So hopefully this... Okay. Well. Uh, carbon dioxide it's part of motherland. I think this one? Am I supposed to get this? Okay. So, before giving this to her, I would love to go back and, uh, well, I cannot save this shit. I see. Okay, so with that said, uh, we will be done with the video right here, and uh, meet you all in the next video. So unless until that, this is the rabbit signing off. Y'all have a beautiful day. Goodbye. Peace.